All right, so we've seen like L like Luma Stealer is one of the most popular popular things out there to try to get people to install right now because any campaign that allows you to get people to install this on their computer will earn you cash. The people will do all sorts of stuff to make sure that these stealers and loaders load their own malware and have like a predefined pool of victims. Uh, so as a result, this is a very profitable cybercrime business model. So you're seeing all these types of scams where people are trying to get people to install like a malicious package or something else in order to get this Luma Stealer on their computer. So this is the latest version. Um, on GitHub comments, people are leaving uh, just like files and saying, oh yeah, I saw this issue and then I, I got it fixed. So um, there's a lot of different things this can do. It can steal lots of information files like seed.txt, pass.txt, ledger.txt, all the things that are associated with cryptocurrency. Uh, then it can also, again, install other malware packages that maybe other people pay the intermediary to load onto a bunch of victims' computers. So this is apparently a campaign by, love this name, Stargazer Goblin, um, who, again, have created malware distribution as a service, a DAS, for over 3,000 fake accounts on GitHub to push information stealing malware. So again, there's all these weird niches in the cybercrime industry where, like, you know, in this case, just tricking someone in the comments of GitHub into downloading a malicious package and then charging somebody else to decide what other malicious packages get installed on that victim's computer. That is an entire business model within the cybercrime industry. So be careful if you're looking for solutions on Stack Overflow, on GitHub Comments. These are all being targeted by people who will literally earn something from you just downloading a malicious package and letting it run on your computer.